Hey guys and girls, what's going on? Viridia here. Uh, excuse my voice, I'm a little sick, but welcome to part two of my Daedric walkthrough. Uh, we're going to be doing the Bothia, which I believe is how it's pronounced, Bothia, uh, her quest, and uh, we are going to be getting a nice, sweet uh, set of ebony armor, minus the helmet. So, uh, so let's get started. To begin Bothia's calling, you'll want to be at least level 30 um, and head to Windhelm. You're going to want to trek east up the mountain until you run into the Sacalum of Bothia, which I believe that's how it's pronounced. Talk to the priestess of Bothia and she'll explain that they're a cult that worships the great Bothia. She'll instruct you to bring a follower to the sacrificial stone to prove your loyalty. Just choose a follower to come with you. I chose Atheus, but you can choose anyone you want. Go back to the Sacalum and follow the stairway up to the right. Here you'll run into the sacrificial stone. Talk to your partner and choose the I need you to do something for me choice from the dialogue box. Ask him to touch the stone, and this happens. Use the Blade of Sacrifice to cut him or her to pieces. Don't worry, they won't fight back. Once they're dead, both of you will jump from oblivion into the body of whomever you chose to be your bitch, and will promptly ask the cult to fight to the death in her honor. Once you stand the victor, both of you will tell you that her previous champion has displeased her and ask that you take his ass to school along with anyone with him. Travel to Ninth Point Ridge, which is west of Falkreth. Deal with the archers in the towers, watching out for falling rock traps they've set. Fight your way through the bandits to the entrance. Once you reach the room with the oil, be extremely careful of the bandit marauder that shoots fireballs if she can be a bitch. Hopefully the marauder will begin fighting with the champion of both you, so it will make this fight a little bit more bearable. Once that's done, the champion's all that remains. Once dead, lift the ebony armor off of his body and clear the tavern of any more stragglers. Now all you have to do is equip the armor and complete the quest. Both you will talk to you a little bit, and uh, it'll be done. So I hope that helped, guys. At least you got some badass armor out of the situation. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Uh, don't forget to rate and subscribe. Stay tuned for our next stage request. Uh, probably won't be in al actually alphabetical order like I said, but they'll be there. Thanks for watching, guys. Later!